I think I got a friend zone right there. <laughs> A viral New York Times article featured 36 questions that could supposedly make any two people fall in love. We wanted to see what would happen if we asked these questions to two complete strangers on a blind date. My name is Nicole Ross and I am currently single. I have no idea what to expect from today, but I'm excited for the turnout. <laughs> My name is David Simmons. I'm single AF, but you know, hopefully this it's gonna help me find like my perfect match. The worst thing that could happen is if, <laughs> am I allowed to say this? The complete opposite of like what I'm into comes out and like she, I'm just hoping like we're not gonna even have to have like the worst possible thing. What is up? Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Ah, uh, great. Nicole, nice to meet David, you. David, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're hugging this out <laughs> for four. You're my new wife now. New wife? Yeah, I just decided right now oh, wow. for you. That's a big leap. We just jumped <laughs> right to it. We're gonna have like a beach date. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna like get on those little bird things. We're just gonna be flying down like the little pier. It's gonna be fun. Could have had All right, deal. great time right there. All right, you're down. I've been wanting to ride bikes on the pier, so we're doing sounds it. like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> when did you last sing to yourself and to someone else? <laughs> last singing to myself was probably like in my Uber here, like my Uber driver and I were like bumping. I think I sing to myself every day, but last time I sang to someone else was for my best friend's birthday, saying happy birthday. But it was like the that. remix version, you know, where you're like, happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? Ooh, I have a lot. Be finding myself. Because growing up, I never, I always felt like I was missing something. And I never knew what it was and kind of always like relied on other people to fill my happiness and feel um, just the void that I always wanted filled. All it took was finding that love and um, trusting yourself to be able to do anything you want in life. Wow, that, that was honestly insane. Like <laughs> I never heard anything like more well said than that. Okay. And you just made my accomplishments just like feel like shit. No. So <laughs> I would say that my greatest accomplishment, not, I wouldn't say finding myself because I'm not entirely sure if I found myself mm -hmm. yet Right. entirely. But it would just be like learning how to get out of like the social norm. Everyone just feels like you have to live one certain way and yeah. like that's the only way like you can do anything with your life. And just even like moving out here on your own mm -hmm. is a huge accomplishment. Being on your own, there's a lot. Yeah, there's so much that you could say for that, but I, I think that was good. I yeah. Was good what is your most terrible memory? <laughs> terrible memory. Uh, high school, senior night. You know, I was like on the basketball team. I was like, all right, I'm gonna ask this girl to prom. It's gonna be awesome. I had like people in like the stands holding like prom spelled out. Walk my little brother and I over to this girl, asked her to like uh, go to prom with me. Mm -hmm. She like looked in front of me and she's like, no. I was like, okay. Oh. So, <laughs> Did you guys went, know each other? Yeah, like we talked Your for friends? a super long time, but like she said no in front of everyone. So I was like, okay, cool. She like obviously felt bad, but it is kind of comical. So like I look back and laugh. Wow, that's horrible. Never forget. I'm sure bad karma came her way. <laughs> um, my most terrible memory would probably be, like right before I moved out here to California, I got in this wreck and I had never been in a wreck before. Really? And this guy was drunk driving and it was like late at night and he completely T-boned. He had this huge truck and just drove right into me. And I just really thought I was like about to die that night and I was just like, freaking out and I will never forget. I just like did not know how to react to the wreck and I was like crying and trying to get out of the car but I didn't know how to get out of the car because I was in like so much shock and and so yeah, it was just like a terrible feeling that I'd never want to experience again and it just really made me mad that he was like drunk and. That is crazy but I. At least I lived, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Just <laughs> because like you lived and you still look fine as fuck, like awesome. Yeah. 
What do you value most in a friendship? Me, just be being trustworthy. We make friends like easily, I can imagine. Like mm -hmm. you seem really social, but like you probably went past people that like ended up kind of like screwing you over or something like that when you never thought they would. I'm 110% honest with all my friends. I'm going to be like, hopefully you do that in return and like not try to like just use me to like benefit yourself, but like right. maybe just like we benefit each other. Like I don't know. Like everything takes a team. Yeah, I agree. I think mine would definitely be loyalty, but also guidance. Like I love having friends that like are constantly making sure I'm doing what my heart is calling me to do. You know, like yeah. if you're trying to distract me and um, like steer me away from bettering myself, then I feel like that's not really a good friendship. I'm going to need to keep you around just because like you're going to set me straight. All right? <laughs> that that's was... my job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, when did you last cry in front of another person and by yourself? Oh, uh, well, I just recently broke up with my ex, so, like, all of my friends had to deal with me, like, crying and, like, being soft. I don't want to give, like, my time and, like, effort to someone just to get shattered. That's how you learn. Yeah, I guess. You gotta go through heartbreak. If not, you never know. Mm. That's the last time you cried? Uh, Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. I feel like I cry a lot. Um, the last time I cried in front of another person was probably like at church. You know, they always say some emotional stuff. So then they're like, you need a napkin? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so they saw me crying. Oh, I like this one. So uh, would you go on a second date with your partner, a.k.a. me? <laughs> yeah, of course. I didn't really like see like the confidence like in that yeah you're like uh yeah well i'm the kind of person where like i don't really like to consider a date like mm -hmm. i like to really get to know someone so if we're hanging out as friends then yes because i mean that's like you're still spending mm -hmm. time but i feel like if it's like a date then you have to look at it like okay i'm gonna be in a relationship with this person so i'm kind of like old school with it i go with the flow if it's meant to happen again then it'll definitely happen again if not then we definitely got the experience from it you know okay well that low-key hurt my feelings but <laughs> i'm Why? just joking i'm just joking i did not say we're not ever gonna no. see each other again yeah, because I already know we're going to. Exactly, so yeah. shouldn't be hurt. <laughs> I suppose. But, uh, yes, I would definitely go on another date with you. And uh, I guess when we leave here, that's when it starts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're taking another sip of tea on that one. All right, another cheers. Of course. New friendship. I think I got friend zone right there. Gosh, yeah, new friendships. Why, well, you automatically tea. thought that you were going to get to date me? Uh, duh, clearly. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm a hard catch. I'm a pro fisherman, so I, I have guess no we'll find out. <laughs> just like real and interesting. <laughs> It'd be fun. Hi, folks. I'm Dan. And I'm Jason. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Tea for Two. We love this series, and we hope you do too. That's right. Um, as always, make sure that you subscribe and click here to watch more videos, and we will see you guys next time. Love. Spread love.